Hey and welcome to a new video from Social Psychology Master's YouTube channel. You're talking to a man. He's cute, charming and knows exactly what to say and do to wrap you around his finger. But you have a bad feeling about him. You're afraid that he's a player or womanizer. Or another way to rephrase that question. Is he a player or is he serious? And you know what? Practically all women are afraid that the guy they're dating is a player. That he is not serious. Well, in this video, I will give you 18 warning signs that you can use to see whether he is a player or not. Or if he is just pretending. If you are new here, subscribe for more social psychology videos. And comment down below, I subscribe, so we can welcome you. Let's start. What is a player? A player is skilled at manipulating a woman's emotions, so he can get what he wants. Most commonly, the term is used to describe a man deceiving, or playing, a woman into believing he only desires her, when he's actually dating multiple women. Number 1. He's very nice to you in private, but he doesn't try as hard in public. Players are great at playing the sweet, affectionate man when you're together, but in public, he's more distant and less tender. Bad guys want to look single, or at least not too lovey-dovey, in a relationship. He may also be nervous about running into one of his other partners that he's seeing. It doesn't matter if it's on the street or at an event. If there's a big difference between his private and public behavior, then this is a sign that he is not right for you. The only reason he's doing that is because he has something to hide. Number 2. He doesn't text unless he wants something. If a man is only interested in dating you, he's more likely to engage in small talk over text. At the very least, he'll reach out now and again to see how you're doing. If you're a side chick, he'll usually only text when he's ready to see you. Bonus player points if he only texts late at night. Number 3. He keeps track of where you are and never goes to the same venue. This is always a funny remark that we hear from a lot of women when they're dealing with a player. He's rarely available on Saturdays and always accidentally goes to a different venue than you are. He will often send you a message on Saturdays asking you where you're going and what your plans are. Sounds like he is doing it out of interest? In reality, it's to make sure he doesn't bump into you unexpectedly. Why wouldn't he want to bump into you out of the blue? There are two possibilities. 1. He doesn't want to go out with you because he's with another woman. 2. He wants to hit on other women one night, and you can get in the way of that. Number 4. He doesn't introduce you to his friends or family. Players may feel particularly self-conscious about introducing you to his friends and family for fear that someone might spill the beans about his love life. It's even less likely he'll want to meet your loved ones. That's a nerve-wracking experience at the best of times. Men will only put themselves through this if they're looking for something serious. Number 5. He's more distant towards you when there are other women around. I assume this is self-explanatory, but I'll mention it just to be sure. If he's more distant when other women are around, then this isn't a good sign. It doesn't necessarily mean that he wants something from them, but a player is simply a player, and it's in his nature to flirt with women. Please note, this can be very subtle. I've seen men quietly flirting with other women while holding their girlfriend's hand. So it's not that he's 100% distant, but at least he doesn't make it crystal clear that he's madly in love with you. Number 6. He values beauty over brains. Players value physical appearances over a long-term connection, so they tend to care less about a woman's personality. So, pay attention to the compliments he gives you. Does he focus on your beauty or who you are as a person? Does he try and get to know you at all? Or is he only interested in one thing? Number 7. He's suspicious of you. Do you know the saying ill doers are ill dreamers? It can be an excellent way to recognize a player. People tend to think that the whole world is like them. Selfish people believe that everyone only cares about themselves. The same goes for players. And what's one of the characteristics of a man who is never going to settle for just one woman? Jealousy. Not only is he jealous, but he doesn't trust you either. He always thinks you're lying or fooling him. Why? He thinks and sincerely believes 
that lying and cheating is normal. That's why he does it himself, and that's why he doesn't trust you. Number 8. He parties a lot. Sure, many young guys would like to party every day, but there are two types of dudes who love it more than anyone else. The guy with the drinking problem and the player. If you're looking for someone to settle down with, you probably don't want either of these guys. Number 9. He tells you very little about what he does when he's not with you. If you ask him how his weekend was like, he'll respond with. It was good, I had a nice time. He never goes into detail about what he does when he's not with you. He can't do this either. The time when he is not with you, he is usually spending with other women. So he can't say anything about it. Most men are not very talkative, but if he can't come up with anything to say. This is something you should make a mental note of. It might indicate that he is not serious about you and only playing. Number 10. He's vague about his plans. A player will never tell you when he has plans with another girl. Instead, he'll create some vague story about what he's up to. The same happens when you ask about his day. Number 11. He got a lot of exes. Does he have a high number of exes? Preferably also exes with whom he's supposedly still good friends with? Then all your alarm bells should be ringing. Players are often very good at getting into relationships, but notably worse at staying in them. So they spend their whole lives jumping from one relationship to another. These relationships often overlap with each other. Number 12. He cancels plans at the last minute. Players will drop plans with a girl if a better one becomes available. Yes, everyone has genuine last-minute emergencies from time to time. If he's regularly making last-minute cancellations, that's a clear sign that he doesn't value you. More often than not, he's ditched you to hang out with another woman. Number 13. He pays a lot of attention to his appearance. Does he think the way he looks is overly important? Does he pay more attention to his looks than you do when you leave the house together? In the book Warning Signs, the authors explain that cheating men often suddenly pay more attention to their appearance. That's because when men feel available or are hunting for women, they do their best to look good. So take note and see if he is doing this. Especially if he doesn't do it when you're together. A player sees every moment in public as an opportunity to meet new women. Number 14. He rarely puts you first. If a man is looking for a relationship with you, he'll make the effort to be there when you need support. He's happy to do favors or spend time with people who are important to you. A player would never put you first like this. He's only with you for the fun times. Number 15. He's vague about whether he is dating other women. This is one of the easiest signs to see that he's a player or womanizer. He'll never get bring up this subject himself. But if you ask him if he's also dating other women, he gives a vague and evasive answer. He says things like, I sometimes meet up with someone but it's not really serious. I meet female friends once in a while. In the last few weeks, I have hardly met anyone. Or the classic answer. Why do you want to know? I'm not asking you about your love life, am I? There are two kinds of players. The first is a small group of players who will 100% lie to you about this. But the vast majority and the largest group will tell half-truths because they don't want to lie to you. And yes, I'm aware that the difference between really lying or telling half-lies is tiny. Number 16. He doesn't remember anything you tell him. Either he doesn't care enough to listen, or he's getting mixed up by hearing way too many stories from too many women. Also, if he tells you the same story twice, that's an even clearer sign of getting mixed up from dating around. Number 17. He finds it easy to get physical with other women. Most men are not touching women very much. The only women they touch are their loved ones or family members with whom they're close. The reason men don't do this a lot is actually pretty funny. They were brought up to be polite to women and afraid to come across as touchy and creepy. Players, on the other hand, are so used to physical contact with women and flirting that they have a lot less trouble with it. They can carelessly put their hand on a woman's shoulders during a conversation. 
but believe me, men only do this when they have a great deal, maybe too much, of experience with women. Number 18. He is often unable to meet, but doesn't give a clear reason why. When you want to meet him, he usually responds by saying, I'm available at Tuesdays and Wednesdays. He won't give you an explanation of why he can't meet on Thursday for example. He prefers not to make up a lie and is doing this to avoid the subject. Men do this partly because they feel uncomfortable to lie, but also because all those lies are impossible to remember. So he says, I can't, and he doesn't give you an explanation why. This is a typical pattern among players. If you are really serious about learning the secret of how to make any man fall in love with you, we highly recommend checking out the first link in the description of this video. It's a professional and powerful psychology guide that has helped thousands of women all around the world to understand exactly how men think and what they really need to fall in love. It will help you win him over, even if he wasn't initially interested in you. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Check out our other videos for more interesting psychology topics. Thanks for watching.